For two years now, a very important way to get around in downtown Cleveland has been closed. It leaves some people frustrated and waiting for a fix that really wasn't supposed to take this long. Not at all. First at four, Stephen Hernandez digging into just how much longer things will be delayed on the waterfront line. I thought it was an old train that was not going to run anymore. For nearly two years, RTA's waterfront line has been a ghost town. The line down for repairs. People around here wondering if it will ever be up and running again. I don't believe the train's ever been working. The problem? Safety concerns over the bridge above. Without a fix coming anytime soon and football season just a few months away, some fans like Alyssa Duncan may be forced to find an alternate way to get to and from the stadium. Last time we were at the game, we were parked all the way down in the flats. It took us like two hours to get out of the flats. In a statement sent to 19 News, an RTA spokesperson said they hope to have the train line ready by the start of the Browns' regular season this year. While RTA has their sights set on the start of this year's regular season, any sort of delay could mean a big impact to Browns fans' wallets, especially since City Council is considering raising the price for Muni Lot parking to $70. Going to $70, I think, is going to be it's going to be hard for a lot of people. That kind of price hike will be tough. Kai lives here in the flats. He says parking is a challenge not only here but all over downtown. There's hard economic times right now, um, and so I don't think that'd be a great solution. While the bridge may soon be back open, the people I talked to today aren't holding their breath. Are you confident that they could get it done by the time the season starts? Well, you just as confident as the potholes that they said they fixed too, you know. In the flats, Stephen Hernandez, 19 News. Yeah, I reported on this just last year before the start of the Brown season. It's just simply those bridge supports. So I, really, it's frustrating for a lot of people, especially on those Browns game day Sundays. Well, let's hope that they can get it complete then by what, September, September right? Yeah. When the Browns yeah. start playing. That, that would really help because it certainly moves a lot of people.